Okay. Uh, day four of my challenge, I want to show you a little bit about what's going on um, in my upstairs apartment. And not really to uh, prove to you why math is uh, always used, but you know, obviously we always use, hey, if you're going to paint a house and stuff like that. Well, I am actually doing a lot of that stuff. So I just kind of want to show you um, some of the things that I've had to estimate. And you know, it's pretty much basic math, but you can obviously see I've had to use a lot of it um, for this whole project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, uh -oh, battery tank. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just a little bit about my house so you can just kind of see what I've done so far. All right, so first of all, I had to redo all that cabinets. Um, one thing you can obviously see is I've been tiling all of this in here. And so one thing I had to do was, you notice how this is not a regular uh, rectangular shape. This is an irregular um, shaped kitchen. So what I've had to do, and you can see I've destroyed this place, but I've had to figure out how much tile I was gonna use and I had to estimate um, what I was going to use. Also, the same thing with the paint. You can see that I'm still painting, but I obviously I need to see, you know, what is the surface area of all these walls that I'm going to use to help me estimate how much paint I'm going to buy. Because obviously, um, paint's going to go bad. So if you buy too much, um, then you're going to be wasting it. Same thing. I uh, estimated these wood floors as I'm going to redo them. Put on another gloss coat. So it's really important for me to make sure that I understand, um, you know, the side lengths of everything that I'm going to be able to do. Now, really besides that, I'll just kind of show you if you, in case you're kind of wondering what this place looks like. It's a little upstairs apartment. It's kind of cute. Um, I'm redoing the whole bathroom and all that. That's really just a, a big mess I got on my hand. But, um, you know, a couple things I just wanted to show you. This is actually a little bit through the renovations. But one thing that we've been talking about so far in these early modules, um, you know, is one thing also figuring out perfect squares, determining what the area is using uh, uh, perfect squares or not. The other thing I also just wanted to mention is, you know, I had to cut this uh, laminate countertop. And one of the main things that was important was, you know, one thing is kind of understanding and estimating, you know, the closest size. I didn't have to get any exact measurements. But it's very important for us to be able to estimate. Now, I know a lot of you aren't going to be uh, real estate.